Ryan Price, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. All right, here we do some NFL Week 15 predictions here. Uh, we got so many good games here, and let's get into it. Thursday night football, you got the New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore is be is one of the best teams in the NFL. That's why I'm picking Baltimore. They're both kind of big wins, though. New York uh, beat Miami. Baltimore beat Buffalo on a road, so that's pretty good for both of them. But Baltimore improves to 12-2. and two. Uh, Next, the New England Patriots and Cincinnati Bengals. I'm going to this one to New England here. Cincinnati hasn't been looking that good. Uh, next, hit the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Detroit Lions. Tampa Bay kept coming off a big win against Indianapolis, while Detroit's coming off a loss to Minnesota. I think this is Jameis Winston's game to win. He has to win this game if he wants to remain the Tampa Bay Buccaneers starting quarterback, and they can still remain in playoff contention. Uh, so there goes that. Next, get the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. I'm giving this one to Green Bay. Chicago is coming on really good right now. Uh, they're looking really good, though, but I think Green Bay edges them out as they're coming off a iffy win against the Washington Redskins. Next, get the Houston Texans and the Tennessee Titans. Uh, t Houston is the most uh, unknown team there is. One week, they'll look good. and one like, like Two weeks ago, they beat New England. And this past weekend, they beat they got beat by Denver. Uh, just an embarrassing loss to Denver, and it should have never happened. My, that's why I'm getting this one to Tennessee. So it's in Tennessee, too, so there goes that. Next, you get the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs. Denver's coming off a big win, but I'm getting this one to Kansas City, though. It's in Arrowhead Stadium, so why not Kansas City? Next, you get the Miami Dolphins and the New York Giants. These are two teams right now that have been not that all that this year, but... The winner of this game, the win's going to mean a lot to them. Uh, one of them is going to collect uh, another win, and that's going to be big for them. Because whoever doesn't win this game is going to get uh, a little bit of a, a higher chance of getting a higher pick, a lower pick in the draft. That's what they all want, I guess. I, I, I guess that's what some of these teams are below, like in the 30s and 25 and below in the power rankings are doing. Then I'm, some pe people have the mentality of winning. Some might have the mentality of getting the first uh, overall pick and getting a good player. But the winner of that game is going to mean a lot to them teams. But next, get the Philly Eagles and the Washington Redskins, whose Redskins' playoff hopes ended last week when they played, or this past weekend when they lost to Green Bay. Their chance of making a playoff for winning out, Dallas losing out, Philly losing out and beating Dallas. So all that so where they lost to Green Bay. But I'm going to swim to Philly on the road. But next, get the Seattle Seahawks playing the Carolina Panthers who got demolished by the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to just want to see Seattle by a lot. I think it's a blowout. Uh, next, get the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Oakland Raiders. Jacksonville got blown out this past weekend. I'm going to just want to Oakland. Uh, next, get the Cleveland Browns and the Arizona Cardinals. Two former Oklahoma quarterbacks, Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray, square off. I'm going to just want to Baker Mayfield, though, on the road, going to Arizona and beating Kyler Murray. Next, get the Minnesota Vikings and the San Diego, San Diego Chargers. I'm going to swim to the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, they're just more dominant. That's nothing you can say about it. They're just more dominant. Next, get the Los Angeles Rams and Dallas Cowboys. Jason Garrett is coaching for his job. He's coaching for everything. Like, he has to win out and win a Super Bowl the only way he can retain his job, according to sources. So I think Dallas wins this game and keeps our playoff hopes alive and gets a little bit more of an edge over Philly. Next, get the Atlanta Falcons and the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco's coming with a big, big time win over the New Orleans Saints this past weekend, week 14. And Atlanta's coming off a big win too, a dominant win over the, the Panthers. This is going to be a great game. I think the 49 win is big. Uh, what I mean by great is going to start off really good, but you know, it's a blowout. It's going to help me in fantasy. But next, hit the Buffalo Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Pittsburgh's been looking good this year, so it's Buffalo. But I think Buffalo wins on the road. And improves to ten and four. Next, you get the game of the week. I'll say as a thumbnail: the Indianapolis Colts and the New Orleans Saints. This game is big for the Colts. If they lose this game, I, they their playoff chances become zero and they get out of playoff contention. Uh, and the Saints, if they win, it helps them out in the uh, seeds, it clinches them a top two seed in the NFC playoffs.